Okie dokie. Um, as by now, all of you know, the OnlyFans leak. Um, if you don't know what OnlyFans is, OnlyFans is a site where men and women basically post explicit photos of themselves. Let's be honest, it's mostly women. And mostly men, although I assume there's a few women, pay to basically see explicit photos. I don't know why a person would do this when Pornhub is a thing. But the reason I picked this story, I wasn't even going to comment on the OnlyFans just to ask the simple question, why are people paying for this when Pornhub's a thing? But, um, this article right here just shows how much damage feminism has done to any guy who has not taken the red pill or the black pill or just said fuck it and not try to date feminists. Here's a here's a tip. If a woman's 50 pounds overweight and has a bad attitude and doesn't shave properly or wear perfume, probably a feminist. Anyway, um Monica Hold or Holt uh, she makes her living by providing content to 1,100 subscribers on OnlyFans, a job that sees her spend up to four hours a day. Replying to people's messages, uh, explicit content as images and videos. But a large part of her job is um, encouraging, being an encouraging presence for men not feeling good about themselves. Now, of course, everybody knows about the hack or the leak or the what the fuck ever. Um, but basically, uh, one of OnlyFans' most successful adult content creator, Monica Holt, responds to hundreds of men's messages per week. She told Insider what makes them tick, and it's not just all about her body. I, it might not be that at first, but I'm willing to bet that at least in the beginning stages, yeah, that kind of plays a large role. Holt is a Swedish-Polish woman who has around 1,100 subscribers on an OnlyFans uh, profile titled Miss Swedish Bella. She says that she spends two to four hours a day responding to private messages from her fans, and the conversation can be surprising. You get shocked to see how many lonely guys are out there who feel like they're not good enough for a woman. The 36-year-old Holt, who lives in California with her husband... OnlyFans on social media. I'm going to have to jump past this photo here because of YouTube's pissy-ass policy on this shit. Allows content creators to set up a paywall around their profiles. Hosts can post content to a feed received and send direct messages and post pay-per-view content. Uh, Holt charges $6.50 a month for basic access. Blah, 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 blah. Let's get down to this. Oh, she also can provide custom nudes on demand. It's setting up about new and possibilities to interact with her audience. Um, personal access to part of the star is part of the deal. Um, hey, guys, uh, it, it, it's not a real relationship, okay? It, it's basically no different than um, if I, let's say, expand Lord of Patriarchy or Bacon Man Productions, and I hire an actress to dance around in Princess Katana's MK9 outfit. Okay, it, it, that's what it is. It's just a con it's just a monetary relationship. Uh Holt's brand is built on her surgically perfected curvy blonde good looks. No shit. Um although I don't know, she's okay. She's not anything special. I don't know. Maybe she's a wonderful person. Anyway, uh, but this is probably actually what her bigger part of success is. She spends between two to four hours a day responding to private messages from her subscribers. Men can find her a lot about their personal insecurities. A lot of the guys, regardless if they're in a relationship, married, or single, some of them can feel very lonely, neglected, and not feel good about themselves. No shit! And that is probably the biggest toxic thing that feminism has ever done to women. And that is saying... You deserve a perfect man. Well, guess what, sweetheart? Prince Charming ain't real, and you ain't fucking Snow White. They expect their fucking husband 
to have the body of the rock, the sensitivity of Daniel Day Lewis, and the introspective wisdom of fucking Confucius. Oh, and also be uh, telepathic so they know exactly what they're thinking at any given time. That's what feminism says a man should be. Or a ballless loser. Um, I always try to add a, a little spark in their life. Hey, you look good. You're enough. You do well. I always encourage them. Well, you're not an American woman. European women still have a slight bit of encouragement for men left. Um, a lot of these guys are really nice, super cute, cool people who do deserve a woman who deserve to be loved, don't deserve to be fucked over. Well, that's another problem. From the time they're in school and especially in college, men are constantly told that if you have one inkling of a sexual attraction towards a lady and you do anything to express that, like catcalling, wolf whistling, flirting, hitting on, then you're just a misogynistic piece of shit! You're scum! Don't you know you're not supposed to respect a lady? Despite the fact that when you're flirting with her, she's laughing. And what's worse is the pathetic white knights. No, this is the direct result of feminism. You have a generation of men that have had their confidence in and and been repeatedly told everything that makes them a man is bad and evil and wrong and toxic, that this is what you get. Congratulations, feminism. You can share everything without being judged or trolled. Holt is open about her mental health issues. And she asked for a bit of love back on her bad days. I write on my wall like, hey, guys, I feel shitty. I suffer from depression. Uh, just a hard day today. Cheer me up. Some of them really brighten up my days. Uh, and they text a lot and get some to know on a, a more personal level. And, and look, that's fine. But, I mean, fellas, guys who are her fans... This ain't a real relationship. Just be honest. I mean, you can be internet buddies, but let's be honest. She also really wants your money. Um, as for the hack, you know... <sighs> I get it. And yes, it's wrong. I mean, it is pirating. But at the same point, <sighs> it's the internet. What the fuck are you going to do? I mean... So, anyway, um, I guess that wraps up this one, and it's kind of like, and it's just kind of like, this is the toxic response of feminism and what it's created among millennial men. Thank Christ, Zoomers are rejecting this shit. And that wraps up this motherfucker.